Hey friends, this is Atif. Hope you're well and welcome to the new update on Stellar. In today's video, we will once again take a look at this down channel and we are getting bounced by the support of this down channel. And we will analyze if there are any possibility that we may have a breakout from this channel or we are going to break down the support. But before starting this analysis, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe it and for more ideas. You can also support me here at the Patreon because here I'm sharing different trading ideas for you and you can find the link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. So let's start the analysis. First of all, let me to show you this uh, monthly time frame chart. This is very important and I'm showing this chart almost in my every video and the reason to show you this chart is that it can be a very, very big opportunity like previously. On the monthly time frame, we formed this down channel. Finally, when we had a bounce in the month of March at, uh, at the starting of the March uh, 2020, uh, and we broke it out here in the month of April 2021, uh, 2020, uh, we had a very, very big move. And from this low to this side, that was uh, approximately 3000% rally uh, within, you can say one year or maybe less than a year if I place this, uh, uh, measurement tool then you can see within 14 months by the way um, almost more than a uh, two months more than a year and we had this 3000 percent move then uh, stellar formed this uh, uh, falling wedge pattern right now we are still moving inside this falling wedge and if we take a closer look at this chart then recently uh, for the past several months uh, in fact uh, like uh, we broke down here this red line that is the exponential moving average 21 on this uh, monthly time frame then we again moved up and we again rejected again move up and we had another rejection recently we are once again rejected and we are rejected on the weekly time frame by this ema 21 and even on the daily time frame we are rejected by this exponential moving average 21. now let's move back to the monthly time frame then we can see uh, if I show you the stochastic that is completely oversold, you can see previously when we were oversold, uh, the stochastic was oversold and when the price line broke out the resistance, we had a very, very big move. Same as like that. Once we will uh, now break out this resistance of the falling bed, then again, we can expect a very long term and bullish move after breaking out this, uh, uh, this falling wedge pattern. And definitely, we also need to break out this EMA 21 on the monthly time frame chart as well. Uh, I believe once uh, uh, XLM will be able to break out this EMA 21 on the weekly time frame, then it can provide a very, very strong support for the, uh, to the price line. And uh, it can be very helpful for the price line to even uh, break out this monthly EMA 21 uh, uh, moving average as well. Now let's take a look at the four hourly time frame chart and on this very small time frame we can see that uh, uh, Stellar has formed this down channel and it is testing the resistance more than the support. Uh, that is a quite clear signal that eventually price line can break out the resistance of Stellar. But when it, it will break out, for example, if it would be, uh, if it would be a falling wedge pattern, then in case of falling wedge pattern, it gets more and more squeeze and then we get idea that uh, now it is getting squeezed and soon it can break out or break down but in this situation uh, the price line is moving between two parallel lines uh, which are moving towards the downside so we cannot have idea when it will break out the resistance of this down channel but if we move back to this monthly chart uh, time frame chart once again then we can see that uh, xlm is entered in a very very strong support zone let me just show you uh, from here back in March 2018, when we entered in this support zone, Stellar was moved down up to uh, 15.7 cents. Uh, you, you can see that this support zone we have up to 16 cents. We had a spike even beyond, uh, slightly beyond this uh, uh, support. And we recovered back. We had a very big rally. We again entered in, in, in this support zone, 17 uh, point 0.1 cents and again moved up we again tested this support here and we, we again move up, moved up and finally we broke it down and once we broke it down we retested this previous uh, support zone as a resistance and we rejected and that was a very very long term uh, a down a bearish move a bearish trend of stellar and finally we broke it out here 
and you can see that when we moved uh, inside this uh, uh, support zone then we had another uh, reversal move and again we have been testing this support zone for the past uh, three months therefore uh, it is possible that now from here we will also break out this resistance of the channel and soon we will also break out the resistance of this falling wedge the real entry for stellar will be when we will break out this very very big wedge we should be waiting for this uh, breakout uh, if you want to buy uh, XLM or Stellar for a long term, then we should wait for this breakout. Now, if we take a look at the target for this down channel, that is approximately here at the top of the channel at 20 cents. And uh, if we take a look at the resistance of this uh, bigger falling wedge pattern, then we can see this time the resistance will be uh, approximately at 19 cents. So it is possible that once it will break out this uh, down channel, then it can also break out this bigger falling wedge pattern as well now if i uh, show you this the stochastic here then we can see that recently price line formed at uh, this low that was lower than previous low but here stochastic is continuously forming higher lows so there was also a bullish divergence and the price line has bounced with bullish divergence uh, from the support of the channel now if it will touch the resistance that will be 18 cents and the target for the down channel will be at at 20 cents so this was the update so far i hope that you've liked the analysis then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well and for more ideas you can also support me at the patreon because here i'm sharing different trading ideas for you and you can find the link to join me here in the video's description i've shared take care goodbye